What's up everybody? I'm B True and obviously right off the bat you guys are gonna notice something is a little bit different. So to let everybody know, I'm actually home right now for Christmas. Um, so all of my my desktop and all my recording equipment is still in Florida. Uh, so I'm actually making this video on my laptop. I've got no microphone, just the built-in microphone. So the sound quality is horrible, the game's extremely laggy, uh, and I don't have any editing software to edit the video with. So we gotta do this all in one shot. Um, so last time I was home for vacation for Thanksgiving, uh, you guys made a, you know, kept commenting, hey, where's the, the events video, where's the events video, where's the events video? So I wanted to make this um, and just see what it turns out like. Uh, like, I don't even know if I'm going to post this depending on how the video actually turns out with the quality, but please let me know uh, what you guys think. If the, if the quality is so bad that it's unwatchable, I mean, it's okay. You can let me know that. That way I don't waste... Uh, my time or your time trying to make another one of these videos because I will be gone next Thursday as well so it would be another video with the events uh, with this style so please let me know be honest with me I can handle it I just want to know if uh, this is unwatchable quality because I know it's going to be really bad quality but anyway let's take a look at the events for this week so like I said the game is gonna be super laggy but uh First and foremost, we got the Lucky Stars wheel, and you guys are going to notice right off the bat, we got a new ninja. So, they added, wait for it, there it is, Shisui Uchiha into the game. Now, Shisui is an amazing ninja, super, super powerful ninja, especially uh, if you go with an uh, Uchiha team like Shisui with Madara, you're going to have a really, really strong team that's huge over in China right now. So, his mystery... Koro Amatsukami Radiance causes damage to up to seven opponent's units. The selected unit will have all its shields and buffs canceled and will suffer from knockdown and chaos. And this chaos will actually last for two rounds. So that's actually huge. A two round chaos uh, is kind of crazy. So, gets rid of all the unit's shields and buffs. That's already really strong. It's a combo starter and a two round chaos plus it's gonna hit up to seven people so his mystery is really really strong it's a show-stopping mystery um, and the animation for it's also amazing if you haven't seen the animation for it uh, you should go look that up because it's incredible next up is standard attack Uchiha style halo dance attacks and causes ignition to up to two of the opponent's units again a very strong attack we've got ignition um, to up to two people right off the bat this attack has a high chance of causing repulse okay so that's pretty cool uh, yeah his standard also is, it's a high chance of causing repulse so he's got a high chance of starting a combo with his standard as well his chase then is chases attacks repulse causes low float and tag then his first passive here, Genjutsu Barrier Radiance. At the beginning of the battle, launches the Barrier Radiance. All fire, lightning, and wind attribute units will have their attack and ninjutsu increased by 40% while this barrier is active. Uh, so Shisui has one of the best barriers in the game because it, it hits three people. It's a 40% increase to attack and ninjutsu. It hits all fire, lightning, and wind. So with the fire, he's going to hit all the Uchiha characters. Um, and then the lightning, he'll hit Sasuke as well and then uh, wind attributes too so you can actually have Naruto in there so really 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 strong barrier right there and last but not least teleportation jutsu is the same as like Jonin Minato uh, very high chance of evading a mystery skill standard attack or chase skill suffered by this unit can be triggered once every round so Shisui really strong really amazing character uh, if you're interested in getting him you can spin in this lucky wheel here every one of these spins is going to cost you uh, 20 coupons I'll get my first one in so you get one free per day, and then uh, each spin after that is 20 coupons if you want to try and get Shisui. Come on. All right, so we got five stars there. And then if you click on this again, 20 ingots or coupons. So and we also have uh, Susano Sasuke fragments in here, and then a summoning scroll, a summoning scroll and a seal scroll. Based on how many uh, these stars you get, you can go back here into the rewards end, and you can also piece together Shisui. So let's say you don't get him... Uh, through spinning the, the wheel here, you can actually piece him together back here. So we got Shisui Fragments for 30 uh, Fragment, May for 13, we've got Sailor Sakura for 7, and then if you're looking for power, we've got Charms Material Packs uh, at 15, the Mount Miyaboku Gift at 2, and the Medium Level Refinement Runes at 3. Now, like I've said before, these Mount Miyaboku gifts are extremely valuable. You can get a ton of power, uh, especially with how cheap they are. Um, but 
because of how many medium level refinement runes it takes to get all of your uh, your equipment refined up to advanced level, I always recommend if you want the power and you're still on medium refinement runes, always to spend on these until you don't need these anymore. Your refinements are super important uh, for power and battles and um, it just takes so many medium level refinement runes. So in order, I would say if you need medium refinement runes, go for these. Um, and then you can just decide between Mount Miyaboku Gift or Charms Material Pack. If you're pretty high level in Mount Miyaboku Gift, go for the Charms Material or the Charms Packs. Otherwise, um, I would say go for Mount Miyaboku just because of how cheap they are and you can get a whole bunch of them uh, for the stars. Next up, we got a Total Recharge Rebate here. So. We've got, uh, at 500 rings, we've got level 4, Magic Tama Pack, and Cave Keys, and we've got summoning, Seal Scroll, Summoning Scrolls, um, it's a couple Seal Scrolls, level 5, Magic Tama Pack. At 5,000, we start getting Hokage Tsunade Fragments, uh, a Lucky Summons Pack, which gives you 10 Summoning Scrolls, and then some, uh, other cool rewards. Here is, not this one, this one, this is the one that I find pretty interesting here. At 20,000, right, we have, uh, a Cave Key Gift Pack. And then a initiative, a yellow initiative rune. Now, actually, hold on, let me check real quick, because I actually forgot to check this. So if we go look back here, no, not this one, my bad. We want to look at the eight gates. Eight gates, here we go. Yeah, so they still, um, they still don't have a yellow or a red quick rune. So they only have the purple quick, okay? So they actually added in a, a yellow quick rune that you can only get through this recharge here. Uh, so the purple's initiative starts off at 42, yellow starts off at 72, so it's already 30 higher right off the bat. Um, so we have no other way of getting a yellow than this, this right here, which is pretty good, especially with how important initiative is. Um, so if you are going to recharge a large amount, this would be a really good time to do that. Then at 30,000, we get a Purification Breakthrough Pill and a Contracting Scroll, which has the little summons follow you around behind you. Then, back here, or next, we've got the Time Limited Shop. So every time you log in, you get one point. Completing Plot Elite Instances uh, might give you a point, and every time you spend 10 ingots, you will get a point. Okay? So, we have an Explosive Heart Gift Pack for 22 points. We've got Earth Grudge Fear Kakazu, or... Datara Ito Tensei. You can select one of those because you get to choose which one you want. There, both of the uh, the pack is 22 points, uh, and you can choose which one of the fragments you want. Then we've got Guy's Tortoise over here for 28. We've got uh, Nine Tails Chakra Naruto for 70. Susano Sasuke for 45. Purification runes and summoning scrolls. If you need power, these are your two options down here: the summoning scroll um, or the purification rune. Otherwise, you can choose which ninja you want up here, and this is actually a really good deal because for only 22 points, you can choose between uh, two really good ninja right there. So, I like this event a lot. This is a really good event for this week. Normally, they have fourth Raikage A fragments in here, but not this week. I'm a little bummed out about that since I almost have them pieced together. But hey. Then we got the Jonin uh, Metal Renewal. If your Jonin Metal is going to run out anytime soon and you want to uh, renew it, first off, you'll get a 1,000 ingot discount. Um, and then on top of that, where is it? It tells you down here, um, you have a 50% return of the ingots spent as coupons. So, uh, what, 999? So you get 999 coupons back, um, and you get a 1,000 coupon discount. For this Joe Need Metal. So if you are going to, my metal is going to actually expire in 20 days, so I might do this. Um, if you are, if your Joe Need Metal is going to run out anytime soon, this is a, and you want to get it again, this is the best time to do it for sure. Then we got Sakura's Gift. Uh, so the way this works is you click on Sakura, she'll give you a mission, you go do that, and then she's going to give you uh, a pack that's going to give you randomly a couple of these, uh, I don't know, what are they called? or agiris or rice rice cakes or something I don't know you can also buy them right here Sakura's food sack you can buy you can buy them there so first off they are rewards if you are number one ranked you'll get a level seven attack magitama and uh, purification breakthrough pill red chakra runes level six level five red chakra uh, and then so Based on, and I think you have to have a minimum of a thousand, I believe. I think a thousand is the minimum you have to have uh, friendliness to get on that list. 
Then, with the friendliness, we can go back here and we can get... We've got Jonin Minato for 30 fragments. We've got uh, Ido Tensei Osama for only 10 friendliness, which is pretty, really good price right there. We've got advanced level refinement runes, uh, purification, protection runes. We have summer break fragments, purification rune, and charms material pack. So there's actually a ton of power here that you can get here. This is permanent power. Um, you always need a lot of advanced refinement runes. These are good because it's hard to get purification protection runes. Um, and then obviously you need a ton of charms to level up your charms. So all of those are really great options for you. Or you can go for the ninja if you want. Daily packs is always here. Now we got this Crips Christmas in a capsule. Okay, so use capsule to uh, draw and you get... Um, okay, so you can buy capsules back here for 20 coupons. Where'd it go? Come back. Yeah. So, uh, when you draw, it's going to randomly choose one of these um, items. Now what you can do is, if there's one item in particular that you're looking for, you can increase the probability. It starts off at 5% and it works its way up to 50%. But every time you increase the probability, it costs more coupons, okay? So, it costs more coupons, but eventually you can increase the probability up to 50% that you will get that item. So we've got Susano Itachi fragments, Cave Keys, Stamina Potion, Charm Material uh, fragments, Kakuzu Earth Grudge Fear, three of them. So we actually got three fragments there. Level 4 Magitama, Mood Scroll, Mount Miyaboku, uh, and Skill Fry, Skill Scroll. So, if you want Earth Grudge Fear Kakazu, this is actually a really great week to get him because you can get those three fragments there and you can get him through the time limited shop. So, that's a really nice, uh, a really nice what, synergy between those two right there. Then we got the daily special. Every day, uh, one of these is, they're, you know, they're going to open up and then you're going to have a discount over here. And if you have a voucher, you can increase that discount and buy whatever you want. So if something in here shows up that you want, um, you can buy that here. It'll be a good discount for you. Now, I think this is the last, oh, nope, oh, there's more. Getting ahead of myself. All right, so the seven days of welfare. Now, if you recharge the amount of ingots uh, that it says on the side here, it's going to give you these rewards. So if you recharge 500 ingots today, you'd get 50 coupons, uh, a gingerbread, and 50,000 coins. Okay, you can also get like a discount down here, or tactics optional pages. So if you're going to recharge for the total recharge rebate and you want the the higher level stuff, save it to only 5,000 days so you can claim each one of these the whole way through. Uh, then. For those gingerbreads, what you can do is you can redeem them over here. So we've got a 20% discount voucher, 10% discount voucher, uh, seal scroll, mood scroll, purification runes, and level 4 magic damage pack. So if you get those gingerbread in by participating through here, you can exchange them back here for rewards that you want. So you can get those discount vouchers for the, um, the daily special if you need them. Then, over here in the instances... Um, as you clear instances, you'll also be able to get these rewards back here. So don't forget about these, okay? So we've got uh, a capsule, which we use for the Christmas capsule for the drawing back here. Um, purification rune. We've got firecrackers to use on people to get rewards. We've got coupons. Uh, down here is a level 3 Magitama pack, and there's a gingerbread. Um, so just don't forget to do these while you are uh, like spending all your, your stamina, right? Last but not least, we've got the Ninja School Winter Camp. So you can claim this pack once a day. Um, so don't forget to claim on that. Then, log in. So after you've been online, uh, so it's 30 minutes, you can claim this new character, Anokinos, Anokio, whatever. I don't know, it's another troll character, so I'm not going to spend time uh, going over their skills and everything. But if you're online for 30 minutes, you can claim this every day. And then for day 6, you got cave keys. And day 7, we got a free seal, seal scroll. Then if you have a Jonin medal, you can also claim this bottom row down here. So there's more cave keys. We've got level 5 rune pack, purification rune, purification protection runes. We've got charge material pack, summoning scroll, and a seal scroll. So that's two free seal scrolls right there if you've got a Jonin medal. Then we have uh, the exchange gift back here. So as you do plot instances, you're going to get these materials. Okay. As you get these materials, you can exchange them for things back here. So we've got cave keys, summoning scroll, uh, level four attack magitama, and seal scrolls. Now, 
you want power, this attack Magitama right here is going to be your best option. Okay, spend on this because leveling up your Magitama actually gives you a lot of power. And level 4s give you a pretty substantial boost towards the next level as long as you're not already at like level 8 or 9. Um, otherwise, you can go for a couple seal scrolls here if you're trying to save up for the Great Ninja War Treasure like I am. Um, or you can go for Cave Keys or Summoning Scrolls. So. There we go. That is uh, my review of the events this week. Like I said, I really do apologize for the horrible quality of this video. Um, but it seemed like everybody really, really wanted that, uh, like the events videos when I was gone last time. So I wanted to just try this out and see how it works. Please, like I said, let me know down below if uh, this is okay for the next one or if I should just not do it because the quality is so horrible. So. Like I said, please be honest, let me know down below, and um, I will, you know, decide whether or not I'm going to make another one of these next week. And then after that, I'll be back, so I'll have all my full equipment, so we'll be good to go. But with the holidays, I've been traveling a lot. I can't take my lap, my desktop with me and everything, so that's just how it goes. So thanks, everybody, uh, for watching the video. I really appreciate all you guys sticking through this whole video. I know this is even extra special because uh, it's such horrible quality, so even more thank you to everybody who stayed the whole way through. Hope you guys all have a great day. Have a great holidays, um, great Christmas, whatever holiday you end up celebrating. Hope you guys all enjoy it with your family. Have a great time. I'll see you all in the next video, and peace.